One of the great things that I, that I love about uh, what I do is we get to uh, take on some of the biggest challenges in global health and global development. And one of those challenges is water sanitation and hygiene. Um, everybody needs clean water. And, you know, uh, to quote the book, everybody poops. And uh, dealing with this in a uh, clean and sanitary way is really important for quality of life, and it's also really important for health and getting rid of certain diseases. One of the biggest uh, challenges over the last couple years, uh, a really fun technological challenge, has been the Reinvent the Toilet project. Uh, the basic theme of this was looking at, are there new solutions, 21st century solutions to sanitation, uh, echoing what we saw in uh, telephone and communication systems, where a lot of countries completely skipped over building a, a big network of landlines and traditional phones and went straight to cell phones. Uh, the question was, could we come up with the equivalent technology that would uh, jump over building out sewer networks and giant water, expensive water treatment plants and jump immediately to non-network sanitation? And it turns out that new approaches are possible using mechanical engineering and chemical engineering approaches. Uh, there is actually a lot of free energy in the waste uh, that can be used to process itself if uh, the machine to do it is designed correctly. And you can actually do this in a fairly cost-effective way. So the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge was kicked off uh, about five years ago uh, in order to uh, get universities, uh, different companies, design firms, and so on to actually think about this and put uh, 21st century innovation applied to uh, the problem of uh, human sanitation. And it's been remarkably uh, uh, cool and successful so far to see the different approaches that have come up. There was one team of a lot of Hertz fellows that uh, started uh, working on figuring out new ways to do use uh, pyrolysis and uh, other approaches uh, for using electrolysis for drying and combusting. One group is running a steam engine off of uh, human waste as an input stream and where a community would used to have uh, uh, 10 tons of waste a day now all of a sudden uh, it runs a uh, steam engine that generates 150 kilowatts of electricity and puts out 10,000 to 20,000 liters a day of potable water. So this is just really exciting to see what innovation can do, what new technologies can do, and actually uh, taking on some of these really big challenges and saying what would be a really definitive technological uh, solution to this that actually uh, solves the problem in a way that we would never have imagined trying 25 or 30 years ago. Thank you.